శ్రీ గురు చరణ కమలేభ్యో నమ శ్రీ సుఖదేవ్ గోస్వామి సాస్ ఓ కింగ్ పరిఖిత్ ఆఫ్టర్ రీచింగ్ నారాయణ సరోవర ద టెన్ థౌజండ్ సన్స్ ఆఫ్ దక్ష ప్రజాపతి నేమ్డ్ హర్యశ్వస్ performed great austerities in association of saintly people there in due course of time they became purified their heart and mind became purified and thus they leaned towards bhagavat dharma developed taste to perform devotional service bhagavat dharma bhagavad dharma means pure devotion nar service but because they remembered the order of their father who told them to produce children to fill the earth that's why they carried on continued performing austerities even though their heart and mind became purified and became attracted to spiritual life when one becomes attracted towards spiritual life must adopt must wholeheartedly adopt become a devotee if you carry on doing worldly deeds not even though became attracted to devotional life not taking the devotional life and remain attracted to do the material items your position will be like that of <coughs> these 10000 sons of the kaprajapati haryaswas these haryaswas continued performing austerities with the desire to produce children even though their heart and mind became purified and became attracted to spiritual life seeing in such situation narad muni thought let me go and tell tell them guide them properly because they are attracted to devotional life bhagavad dharma but want to do material things narad muni came there and told them o oh, sons of dakhya haryaswas you really do not know anything your intelligence is not mature even though your heart and mind has become purified and you became attracted to perform devotional service bhagavat dharma still you are engaged in doing performing tapasya austerities and thinking to create children until one becomes attracted to spiritual life devotional service chanting japa study bhagavatam bhagavad gita do devotional service till then one should carry on performing austerities one who becomes attracted to spiritual life must wholeheartedly accept it and serve the supreme lord till one realizes the supreme lord but o oh haryeshwas your thought your mind is engaged to follow your father's order to produce children but do you know after producing children what is the responsibility to take care of them maintain them protect them educate them so many responsibilities are involved that requires lot of perseverance and intelligence 
before you engage in those activities, answer my ten questions, he said. Number one question was, did you ever see the end of this earth, proximity of the earth? If you have not seen the proximity of the earth, then you have not seen anything. And you are thinking to produce children and you have not seen the proximity, the end of the earth, you are really immature. Second question is, Narada Muni said, did you ever see a country, a place where only one man lives, one person lives in it? Either you consider him a king or or a subject or a minister or a presiding priest or male or female, whatever you think about him, that is different. Did you see such a place? If you have not seen such a country, then you have not seen anything. Therefore, you are unfit to produce children. <laughs> see? Now, third question. Narada Muni present says, Did you see a hole by entering in which person cannot get out, wanders around, searching around and cannot exit? Did you see such a hole? If you do not know about that hole, then you don't know anything. You require your intelligence to become mature. Whatever you will do without knowing this hole, it so all will be a waste. Then he asked the fourth question. Do you know a woman who takes many forms at a, in a, at a time, changes her forms, looks very beautiful, sometimes dances, chants, laughs, sings, sometimes cuts her hair short and leaves uncovered, sometimes she covers her head, has long hairs, uses many kind of mascara and all that, decorations, and sees around moving around you. Do you know her? If you don't know, then you don't know anything. You are unfit for procreation. Fifth question he presented, Narada Muni presented was, did you ever see a very nice gentleman who is noble and decent person but is married to a unchaste woman who even commits adultery in front of her husband? Did you ever see such a woman, such a man who is such a gentleman? Did you ever see? who is adulterous husband. <laughs> if you have not seen such a man, then you have not seen anything. You are unfit for procreation. Number six question, Narada Muni presented to them, Haryas was, was, did you ever see a river which flows both ways simultaneously? goes flowing towards the ocean and flows back to the simultaneously, both ways. Usually, ordinarily, rivers flow only one way, carrying water to the ocean, but this river is special. Did you ever see this? If you say, no, I have not seen, we have not seen, then you have not seen anything. Try to ponder on my questions and seek for answers, Narada Muni said. The seventh question Narada Muni presented to them, did you ever see a house made of 25 items, elements? Did you ever see a house? After entering into that house, one forgets their own constitutional position, why they landed on this earth first place. They forget. They identify themselves with that house. 
they remain unable to recognize the Supreme Lord, their own goal, goal of human being, what supposed to be, they forget everything. Did you ever see such a house? If you say no, then you are really unfit for creation, creating further. Eighth question Narad Muni asked, did you, see, did you ever see a swan which has very special wings? Very special, very many colorful, wonderful, amazing wings. If you do not know about this swan, then you are totally ignorant. Ignorant people look like gentlemen, knowledgeable people externally, but they are ignorant. So your situation, if you do not know about this swan, then exactly like that ignorant person. Therefore, you are unfit for creating further. Ninth question Narad Muni asked was, did you ever see a disc which moves all the time, circles around all the time and is built with the razor sharp razor blades and thunderbolt harder than the rock. It never stops. 24 hours all the time it moves. If you do not know about this, you are still unknowledgeable, ignorant people, unfit for creation. Number 10, do you know about your original, actual father? Do you remember what order he gave you? Narada Muni is asking these questions to these Haryaswas, 10,000 brothers at once. Do you remember what order your original actual father gave you? Who that person is? What is his order to you? If you don't remember and if you don't know who your actual original real father is, then you don't know anything. You are unfit to create, to fill this world. That father is very near to you. You see him, but you cannot recognize because you are ignorant totally. Therefore, you need to study scriptures daily. You need to associate and surrender to a pure devotee. You have to listen and follow his orders and pray to the Supreme Lord to keep you as a devotee. Everybody wants to copulate. Everybody wants to enjoy. But everybody should not and cannot, not supposed to enjoy until they know these ten answers to these ten questions. If you study, Narada Muni told the 10,000 brothers, if you study scriptures and listen to pure devotee, your heart and mind will become purified, thus you will come to know what question, answer to what questions I have asked. We will discuss about the answers next. Thank you very much.